the only thing that's standing as a huge barrier is the strength of the ego. So rather than focusing on where to go, rather than focusing on developing occult capabilities, rather than focusing on so many things which are non-essential, focus on what is essential, which is weakening of the influence of the ego over the mind. Then you realize your true nature. And then you'll know what is the real meaning behind that statement that first realize the kingdom of God within you and then everything else will be added on to you. We've heard this one before. What does that mean? It means abandon what's non-essential, become rooted with what's essential. All of the sufferings of life is because of this. We're too sidetracked by all the things that are non-essential. Now we have to be practical about the situation because in a single human lifetime we have a very limited amount of time available to us and seeing the amount of knowledge that's available on the earth in all fields of study in physics, in chemistry, in philosophy, in spiritual process in every field of study there's too much knowledge that's available on the earth so what to do in this situation the only remedy is to abandon all that stuff that's non-essential and discover that which is essential. We can spend the rest of our lives accumulating more and more knowledge but without any inner internal transformation that's happening. And that's what many academics experience. That's what many so-called intellectual geniuses experience. Much knowledge, a wealth of knowledge, which is good, good to have knowledge, but the source of your true happiness does not depend on this kind of knowledge, which is intellectual learning. There's another kind of knowledge which has to do with wisdom. So this is the difference between intellectual learning and wisdom. Intellectual learning means the source of your knowledge comes from the outside. Wisdom means the source of your knowledge arises from within.